What is up YouTube fam, Robbie C here, and today we have a mystery box for Black Friday with Foundation, and we have this month's sub box, which also has a mystery in it. So we're gonna see which box is better. Happy Thanksgiving to you. So before we dive in, we're gonna ask the most important question of the day. How you doing today, Harry? You having a good one? So catch me if I fall. So we've talked about them here on the channel for the past two years, really. Foundation does a subscription box every month. It's $45. You get three fantastic discs with at least one of them being custom stamped as well as a swag item inside of it. <laughs> they do a different theme every month and it is not just some like, hey, we're offloading product on you. It literally is these discs are ordered specifically for the sub box. But you're watching this maybe on Thanksgiving, maybe at a later date, but tomorrow on Black Friday, Foundation is releasing mystery boxes. And these mystery boxes have really three kind of special things. You have a custom stamp foundation disc. You have a sort of wild card disc that could be anything from a buzzsaw all the way up to like special discs from Brody's collection and then you have a stock disc that they also think looks really cool and I think there is a swag item in here so we're going to take a look at the boxes see what we have inside them we're going to play I don't know how many holes like I said we get three discs this is the mystery disc box of course you get your plastic make sure you don't leave that on on the course mystery disc you guessed it it's mystery disc season I mean who doesn't love a good mystery inside you'll find a blank putter with a surprise when you give it the old Texas flip a driver that's having a real identity crisis and a swag item that has a few secrets to reveal at noon and midnight but the biggest mystery lies with the third disc in the box who made the disc what mold is it why are they doing this to me Again, what plastic is it? These are all questions you have to answer in order to answer the contest that's paired with this month's box. Tag us in a video throwing your mystery disc on social media and include your guess of the disc mold and manufacture. If you've cracked the code, you'll be entered in to win a grand prize. Happy guessing. Remember, looks can be deceiving. There's more than meets the eye. So three discs in here. One is a mystery disc. I do know what it is, so I'm not going to tell you what it is. The plastic's running away. If you get this grand prize, I'm pretty sure it's like a shopping spree or something like that, which is kind of sick. So we have have a mystery putter that when you flip it over you realize oh it's a premium link okay I like that blank putter I like this little like foundation custom stamp on the bottom next up we have a driver this is the jackalope stamp but it's not actually a jackalope I'm pretty sure it's a Phoenix I know it's not a jackalope uh, but I love because the stamps it's like mystery stamps on all of them in terms of they're all stamped not as the actual disc that it is. The disc is the same, but the stamp is different every time. And then last but not least, we have our mystery disc. So we got a pink one, Jason hooking it up, baby, let's go. And then I think these are like UV glow bogey bro minis. Now conversely, the competition, the mystery box from Black Friday. Now that your order has arrived, you'll the fun has just begun. On the back of this card, you'll find three riddles each one of you leading you to a specific keyword once you have all three um, combine them you're going to this url that they link and if you solve it uh, in time there's a limited disc waiting for you to be able to get so what do we got we have a shadow fax kale visca shadow fax funny enough i've actually never thrown the shadow fax we have a trevor stop supra let's go so we have a flipping mid really really fun trevor threw this in comparison to the soul uh and this this run of supers was actually pretty flippy which is kind of sick um so i think that we have stock disc is the shadow facts the supra is our wild card disc and then we have some swag items so we have uh, a world's magnet we have in the bag sticker yeah, yeah. we have a foundation sticker and then we have a foundation ornament uh, it's Christmas season. We're doing that thing. Uh, and then we have Foundation Building Your Game Disc Golf since 2019. And this, I think, is bang. It's a zone. As a zone guy, man, you gotta say it, guys. You can't, you can't have enough zones out there. I'm gonna be honest. Mystery Box has, uh, seems like it got a, an advantage here. So we'll see what ends up tanking it all. Let's head off to our first hole. Alrighty, so this is 283 feet. That is a dirty lie. It is not 283 feet. It is significantly farther because uh, it is pretty uphill the whole way. I think we're going drivers here. Um, but like I said, I think this is pretty stable. So what we're going to say is heads up 
is sub box heads down is uh mystery box whichever one it goes gets first down is mystery box so mystery box is going first so we're going shadow facts okay that's kind of filthy it uh it just stood straight up and then stayed on a bullet we're gonna have to go anheuser on this one because i think it's stable let's see what we can do it's so stable holy moly it's definitely a phoenix it's definitely a phoenix we've actually got nothing can't even really go roller there because there is uh branches in the way so we gave ourselves a look and thankfully this box actually has a putter and the other box has a zone to putt with outside circle let's give you a chance zone Let's float you up. I would say we gave it a chance. I think it was the right height and everything. It just, it was right. Bang, all parred up, ready to go. No changes coming out of hole one. Let's see, hole two's a bit of a bomber hole. 335 feet, basket actually sits between, there's two trees to the, that make the right side of that field goal. Basket kind of sits directly behind those. So we have a Supra from the mystery box and we have a mystery disc from the sub box. We're gonna try to throw it somewhat flat, just not throw it into the hill out there and see what we can do with this Supra, get it to stand up. We're gonna have to put it on some hyzer. Okay, it clipped the hill. If it bounced off of the hill, that should be pretty decent, but it's probably not much of a putt. Okay, we threw it flat. Honestly, great trees. We threw it flat and it just sailed straight. I hope that I got out of the way. I tried to step off to the side. Can't make that up, ladies and gentlemen. The sub box did get the skip off the hill, or the mystery box got the skip off the hill that put it i mean next to the basket unfortunate like lie for this one just because i'm like really inhibited yeah doesn't affect the putt the links are just really good putters guys um even in the premium plastic putt, phenomenal all right birdies on both we uh we're on to hole three it's 200 feet uh, we're going to go forehand zone and we're going to go backhand link. I think you could say, why don't I just go backhand zone, but prepping, because I know there's a hole in the future that we're going to throw a zone on as well. So I want to go ahead and get loose. This feels like an easy, just can't really hit the tree on the left. Oh, what I did not account for was the fact that we had a headwind pickup right there. I think the link has some stability. I don't think it has a lot. So we're gonna put it on a steep amount of hyzer. If you're ever questioning what to do with the disc, you can take that approach that I did with that mid range there and throw a flat to see. But if you're like worried about it, that's if throw it flat if you wanna see what it does. If you're worried about what it does, just put it on a lot of hyzer because worst case scenario, if it's super flippy, it'll stand up to flat, especially if you put it on enough hyzer. Yeah, I'm just not accounting for the headwind that I literally just talked about. Hey, good thing we've been building confidence with this link because uh, put it a little bit away from the basket, that's fine. Well, you can tell on that putt, that didn't feel comfortable. Uh, and then I let it get in my head on there. That's tough. That's tough because, yeah, there's just a multitude of excuses. That's gonna make it look rigged. It wasn't supposed to be rigged. I think it'll get it back. All right, so this hole is 230 feet, but it's uphill the entire way. It always feels longer than the next hole that we're about to play because uh, the next hole is downhill. I usually throw a putter on this, so a mid feels easier to get there. The key, I think, is going to be when you disc up, make sure that you're not just taking so much off that you would have been better off just throwing like the slower speed disc. That was my worry with the mid. I didn't think about that is that going the mid, if I get some snap and some pop on it, I'm throwing farther right now than I usually am uh, due to changes. Thanks a lot, Blitz. We're just getting places faster. I'm not gonna lie to you. In my mind, I was gonna commit to throwing that on Anheuser. I didn't. Okay, like we said, this one's 260 feet. 
but it's downhill. Mystery box, just got the box back. We're gonna go forehand with the zone. This was the shot that I was like, I have to sort of throw the easy zone the first one because this is 260. It's definitely not like a full shot, but I can't go soft on this. It's just low. It's the right power, it's just low. It was low, so it never really had a chance to fade. And then let's go big hyzer here. And we hit the back wall with the putter. The back wall, it's like 20 feet past it. Thanks Blitz, we're throwing far. By the way, been working with Blitz. If you wanna check it out, if you haven't checked out his channel before, Blitz DG. I'm grateful for Blitz for working with me to get me some distance. And uh, you can support me by supporting him by going and doing all the YouTube things for him. One of the best parts when you're doing a mystery disc video and like you throw the putters on the hole is, uh, hey, I don't really have to worry about getting another disc out of the box because I already have the putters out. Okay. We're like circle's edge, oh, downhill away from the basket. That was just bad, dude. That was just bad. That was so bad. I am someone who traditionally putts with deep putters. The zone is not deep. Once again, get good, adapt, figure it out. Ooh, that's a fun surprise. Barbed wire, one, two, three, four, five, six. Well, that makes that easy doesn't it? Okay, we're trading blows, ladies and gentlemen. We are trading blows. This one, uphill, pretty uphill, and it is uh, 244 feet. We're going drivers, forehand, hanging out wide for as overstable as this is. I'm, I'm not even thinking about flexing it. Hopefully I don't have to. We're just gonna go pure hyzer, sort of aiming it uh, about three quarters of the way left of that basket on its way towards the basket on the left. I mean, it's just so ridiculously overstable. That disc is so silly. That's crazy, dude. And that was my worry on Shadow Facts was. The Shadow Facts was really easy to throw, conversely, and uh, it stood up. I have like a 30 footer behind the basket. I liked it, I didn't commit. I didn't like pop the hand towards it at all. It was very lazy. It was a lazy putt. I misread it. I thought that I like went through these woods. Um, and if I would have went through the woods, I would definitely have been long, but I didn't go through the woods and I came short of the dirt. But because I, like I said, because I thought I went through the woods and got in the dirt, that is why I thought it was like super long. Not long at all. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, it's 125 feet. It's just right there. Uh, I have never aced with a polecat or precious child. I can't come out here and throw a polecat at this hole, at least not until next year because, you know, punishment. I have thought about just sitting on this box with precious child and just throwing over and over again. And that was Andy'd up a couple weekends ago, did a bag swap with a couple friends and they threw precious child. And I was like, just, you know, go ahead and try to ace with it because never been aced with before. And my friend was like, hey, I have this really cool sticker. She was like, you can't, you can't have that sticker until you ace with Precious Child. So I understand that the internet's like, hey, it's not an ace if you sit there and try to throw the same hole over and over again. I think I just need to go one time to see Precious Child go from here, like tee box into basket. I'm counting as an ace. I don't care about the purists out there. That's fine. Let the, let the comments spark. It's Thanksgiving, guys. Let's just be thankful for disc going in basket. Shall we? Okay, it's a birdie, but this one's just gonna have to be ripped flat. Oh, I got it. That would have been a nice holiday treat, wouldn't it have? I'm not popping, I'm not popping my fingers. Come on, Mr. Crawford. See, we got the putter flat. We gotta get the putter flat. Well, this is certainly an interesting one because uh, this road didn't exist before. And I don't know if it's because of the construction and they had to get equipment back here or what, but this road didn't exist. And there used to be a tee box, probably right here-ish, but the tee box is gone. I'll explain that in a second. The tee box is there. Yeah, we'll show that off. 
in just a second, but I made a new hole because thankfully I have two boxes. So I can make a, I can make a tea box. Mystery box has the box. I'm gonna guess it's like 280 something. We're gonna try not to break our ankle and we're gonna give these a rip. See, I just think, I can't remember if it's this Supra that Trevor threw that was like, oh, hey, this is like a soul. Cause I don't think it is. I think it's the first run Supras or something, but that is not flippy. That's nowhere near a soul. I'm not gonna lie to you, Treezus is in trouble. Is that this Meg in the back? I really thought reactors were like the safest I was ever gonna be. Yeah, I'm gonna need this contest to be over so I can tell you guys what this is, cause that's, that's, that's great. Also, I forgot to mention that if you like this snazzy jersey that I'm wearing, also available on Black Friday, uh, foundationdisc.com. Yeah. I just kind of kind of have to expect that the zone's gonna drop out the air and uh it's not doing that i mean guys this thing went so far blinded by the sun blinded by the light well that just wasn't a very good effort was it yeah i think with the link i bet that's in shadow facts and the phoenix when i'm throwing the phoenix i feel like i'm doing like a fallout boy I'm gonna like a phoenix. I'm gonna rise up like a phoenix. It's gonna want to stand up. So we're gonna go more hyzer and go high and let it kind of crash over. It's 300 feet downhill. You guys know this hole, you love this hole. That's so short. What are we doing? Oh man, door is open. Bounce into the hill, counter skipped. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, this is where I wish that the boxes were flipped. Cause if I had the link from back here, I'm just running a traditional putt and feeling good about it. Problem is I have a zone to putt with from all the way back here. I think I'm going mid and going Supra cause I think I've got a better chance of making that and getting it to sit. And yeah, we figured that was gonna be the case. And I just threw it super nose down. Oh, there it is. It's going to wrap it up. It's a bogey for the mystery box. It is a par for the sub box. Surprising one of the day, that mid-range, that mystery mid-range. So good, so excellent. Definitely check it out. So you can find sub boxes still available at foundationdisc.com. Check those out. Nude box every single month. And then you have the mystery boxes available tomorrow if you're watching this on Thanksgiving. Um, if not, they probably sold out. I know they sold out really fast last year. So hope you guys enjoyed. What other challenges or kind of things you want to see? Hopefully there were some nuggets tucked in there. Try to sneak in some little things. So hope you enjoyed that. Happy holidays. Merry Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, whatever the words are. Much love, everyone. Hope you have an amazing day. Please make a fantastic for someone else too. But for now, we're going to leave you with the birdie.